So we're going to be talking about um, global versus component state in Vue-X and its Star Trek theme because I thought that might make it interesting. Um, so basically it's just kind of how do you decide when something should be global or component state. Um, so I'm not going to go into what Vue-X is, especially because there were a couple talks this morning that were really good about why it's good to use. Um, it definitely has pros and cons but it's really helpful when building a larger scale application, in my opinion. Um, but it kind of introduces some new challenges because now instead of just your component states and trickling information down, you kind of have to deal with these two different pieces. There's the local state that was always there and now there's this global state and it's your single source of truth, but how do you decide where something should live? Should it live in the local state or in the global state? Um, and we're just going to kind of go over some questions with some code examples because unfortunately the answer to most questions is it depends. Um, so we're going to kind of go over some examples along with those to try and help you see patterns that you can recognize. Um, so we'll go right into it. The first question that I ask myself is, is this piece of data going to be the same across the entire application? And it kind of depends on everything. Um, so here we have an example where the enterprise is your root application. And in that case, I would say your engines and your crew members should be in your global state. There is only one instance of engines, one instance of crew members for the enterprise. We can see on the other side though, if we have like the whole fleet as the application and then each ship has its own engines and crew members, the engines and the crew members should belong to the ship so that it can pass those down because there's multiple instances of those. Um, when I try and ask myself, is something going to be used across more than one component? Um, in this case, we can see the engine might need to know, for example, who's the assigned crew member. And in that case, we may need to pass in the crew so that we can actually find the crew member who's assigned to this engine and display it there. Um, another thing is, is this piece of data generated based on other data in the application, which we can use that same example. The assigned crew member is a piece of data that we're using in the engine, but that's generated based on the crew and the information in the crew itself. Um, for if this piece of data is used in a component that renders multiple times, this kind of comes down to instances again. Let's say we can display multiple engines at a time and maybe we can open those engines up and display more information about them. If I have one piece of data that says, is the engine open, and I open one engine, all the engines are gonna open and I probably don't want that or my ship probably isn't gonna run very well. Um, so instead, this should be in your local state because you want multiple instances of it. Um, as far as the data changing from multiple places, this is generally something that I would say should live in your um, global state. Like we can see if we have an alert level that we can set from pretty much anywhere because maybe if a crew member has something going on, they can set an alert level. If the engine is breaking down, we can set an alert level there. We can see that we can commit and set that alert level from anywhere, which is probably a good thing. Um, so kind of just some general tips. I think for me, it really comes down to instances. It belongs in the global state if only one instance of that data exists. If it can be changed from multiple places across the application, it's usually helpful to have it in the global state and it's consistent. It's your single source of truth, so you don't wanna try and disrupt that. Um, and then some little tips for component state are if it's something that's used within a component and it's direct children only, and it doesn't really need to be in your global state, component state's fine. You don't wanna clog up your store with a lot of stuff that it doesn't need. Um, and then the biggest thing is just if that piece of data needs to be unique for each component instance, it definitely belongs in your component state. So with that, um, live long and prosper. Thank you guys for listening. And I'm out.